Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'm all barefaced because I'm literally just out of the shower and I was like not gonna do this but then I thought whatever I'm doing it uh, you know that's, that's what happens when you're like home alone. <laughs> uh, but basically I finally got my hair dyed. I dyed it earlier today. I am using a pencil to fasten it up but uh, it's been dyed and my side's been shaved and it looks pretty Pre alright, pre pre silky looking, bit curl there because I tied my hair up when it was wet. Uh, but as you can tell by the title, I've decided to kind of cut my fringe, I guess, because I've been lately obsessing about my forehead because I got a cut on my forehead. Literally, my cut like through the night had stepped on me and it was just cut, you know. And uh, I've been noticing really, really noticing my forehead lately, and it's really bothering me. Besides that this me doing this all the time because my I don't know I think my eyebrows are just too low because because look when when I'm when they're normal it just looks stupid but when they're raised the eyes are bigger and it looks a lot better so I make up in my eyes too and also excessive amount of freckles not impressed so I thought I could maybe cut a fringe well at least kind of shorterish kind of fringe I guess maybe like you know so it's just kind of there because usually what I do I would slick my hair back I would get my mom usually to just use um, like a razor that I use for saving my sides to just kind of trim the ends uh, I literally literally cannot even remember last time I've been to the hairdressers because my hair is like extra long extra long despite the fact having like literally no cut in it like there's no zigzags, it's just straight and uh, my sides are shaped like there's literally half the hair there and they still want like 75 pound each time which is like too much too much so I prepared, I have tools, I have these scissors that are kind of hair scissors that I don't know how sharp they are also I have these scissors from Ikea that are professionally sharp I have a little comb I have this uh, spray that I usually use for heat protection it's like the better one I also have straighteners heating up and I have a mirror down there also I need to grab something to brush my hair through uh, I'm just gonna use this tangle teaser uh, one thing I thought maybe I should have straightened all my hair but then I thought I'll, I'm gonna cut it like I'm gonna stand it in just the front and I'm gonna cut it and then I gonna like fix my hair up and see how it actually looks. Uh, every time I have had fringe, I have loved it once it's been cut, and then I have hated it instantly the next day. Cause uh, styling fringes kind of pen cheeks, and um, yeah. <laughs> so I've literally I still have a video on my computer there with this girl doing her fringe. So. I'm gonna follow kind of hard tutorial, I guess, uh, and try to get somewhere. Uh, so, first things first, just kind of brush it forward, as you can see. Like my usual line is kind of on the side. You can still see hair tie on my head. It's kind of on the side, and I can't really have that much of a fringe for the pure fact that I don't have that much hair. <laughs> and one side's always like loads thinner than the other, so. It's kind of a problem, but yeah, the front's quite long, it's literally past my chest. Uh, but you know, here we are. So, what this girl advised was to, I can see my, um, can I put my hair tie? I've lost my hair tie because I'll need it to tie my hair back. So, and what she suggests is to kind of find the center of your head, but I think it will be like too far away. Because, like I said, I don't have loads of hair on my head, so I don't want to go too crazy. So I'm going to just do it from, like, over here. It's kind of middle of my head. It'll be about here. And I'm going to do it towards the edge of my eye. Kind of creating, like, a triangle, if that makes sense. It's not a very straight line, but we'll work on it. There one side, and then exactly the same from the same point 
towards your eyeball. And that would be the other side, I'd say. And I say it looks totally off key for the pure fact. My what's it called line is on side, so I feel like it's kind of a bit towards one side rather than the other. And if it's all right, we'll fix it somehow. That's kind of a triangle, I guess. And a little bit because I have like little baby hairs like over here. Do you see what I mean? They just literally are just standing up. Um, I think that's pretty all right. So I'm gonna just take the rest of my hair and just pull it back. So it's out of the road. Oh no, I say it's instantly splitting there because I usually would have the bangs down this way. Like, I kind of do have them um, shorter ish because um, I just like kind of layer a little bit, uh, which I usually do pretty simply just by uh, what's it called? Just by kind of you know using your scissors and just kind of straightening it a little. Uh, just trying to make it as as triangly as possible, so there's like no weird hair going. Like I say I have quite a lot of like little baby hair on the side because I've been kind of growing my side bit a little bit. See, because my hair is dyed, I can't even tell if that's just dye, a little bit of dye there, or is it actual like a strand of hair? Uh, I'm just gonna glance in the big mirror, mirror and I'll be back. Okay, I think I'm kind of happy with my kind of triangle. It is like little, these little hair are like going everywhere, but I used like a tiny bit of hairspray just to kind of calm them a little bit and kind of straighten it out. So I'm just gonna grab my hair straighteners and just gonna straighten it. It's pretty long hair, <laughs> I mean. <laughs> It's a lot of hair to cut and just forget about me. Um, okay, so the method meant to be. Um, I said it would be kind of thin fringe, I guess, because I don't have a lot of hair. <laughs> I'm gonna look absolutely ridiculous with a stupid little fringe. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. I'm gonna cut it like down to here. I think and then go from there if I want it shorter or not so what you meant to do is if you're right-handed you take with your left hand yeah take with your left hand and twist it right the way yeah and then you just meant to cut it down so grab the hair in one bit this is not a tutorial may i add it's just me fiddling and then it should create that kind of hoop action okay here goes nothing so you just take the scissors and just cut it down i can't believe i'm actually doing this okay there goes hair as straight as you can here's the hair and here's a ridiculous looking fringe <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know what I was thinking with this. I look stupid because now there are lots of colors in it. I would obviously like curl it up a bit. So this would be my fringe in the good old days. I would have a fringe like this. <laughs> oh no! I already regret it. I already regret it. Should I just go for it and make it shorter? So the girl had like a long fringe, if that makes sense. So she was measuring it to the nose. So grab the hair, grab the hair somehow, twist it so it's down to the nose, tip of your nose, and trim it there. Oh 
my god, I look absolutely stupid as anything. Okay, I'm gonna try work with it a little bit. I'm gonna try to I curl it a little bit. <laughs> Why am I doing these things myself? So I already brought a pin just in case it looks absolutely ridiculously stupid. Um, okay, wait. I switch that off. Straighten it back out. Straighten it back out. Yeah. Okay. I need to go a little bit, a little bit shorter, like up to my eyebrow kind of length. <laughs> oh Jesus! This is definitely one of my stupidest things I've ever done. But um, here we are. Here we are. Also using the what's it called the the phone reflection thing from camera call it whatever you want as a guide to where, you're, where I'm cutting is not the bestest so I would say about here it's like not stopping now <laughs> Oh Jesus! Yeah, instant regret. Instant regret. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know what I'm thinking. Sometimes it just sits so stupidly. It's way too long, isn't it? I feel like I need to be a little bit shorter, so I have like a big gap there. Do you see what I mean? Do I look younger yet? <laughs> oh Jesus! Oh God, I hate myself. I clearly hate myself. Okay, we're gonna go a tiniest, tiniest bit shorter. So grab hair, spin around. I can't even see what I'm doing. Like that. Like one side's alright, kinda. Like this side's kinda alright, and this side's just stupid looking. <laughs> I feel like I need more, just a little bit more hair on this side. I don't know, it's just sitting weird. Okay, let's grab this hair and try to straighten it out together. Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> this is definitely one of the most stupidest things I've ever done to myself. Do you see what I mean? It just kind of flops over that side where it should be like sitting there. I will probably spray it a little bit. <laughs> Maybe it could be like a swoop action. I did used to um, do like an emo fringe. <laughs> oh Jesus! Like this side? Is it this side or this side? This side looks alright. This side is a bit like ridiculously bad. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna hide this for a second. So while I um, go and fix my hair, because I need to go upstairs to get um, my crimper and stuff. So <laughs> I'm going to fix my hair up and see how it looks with fixed up hair. So bear with me. So I think this kid is again, it looks so stupid. It's so really stupid. I sprayed uh, loads of hairspray on my uh, comb and try to kind of you know, bristle it together. I think I need, maybe need to get like gel or something. <laughs> I can't How stupid do I look with this? I hate myself. I seriously hate myself. It's just like it's splitting in a weird way and there's like a big chunk there, no chunk here. I don't know. The hair looks absolutely ridiculous. The fringe looks absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> Tied up. Let's see how it looks tied up. Kind of better tied up. <laughs> My beloved ones not see me like this yet. 
like ever. <laughs> so he'll be in for a unpleasant surprise <laughs> when he comes home. <laughs> oh Jesus, I just I just feel so stupid why I'm doing these things to myself. I don't know. I had such nice hair. <laughs> Okay, I think this will be it for the video. I think I have like some loose hair then. Um, uh, have you cut your hair yet in this quarantine? Because I sure am and I'm instantly regretting it as predicted, may I add. As fully predicted, just as I thought I will. I don't even know why I did it. I feel stupid. I look stupid. It's great. You know, it looks bad now. Wait till, till the morning when I'm slept on it. It's like... And... Yeah, I just need to kind of, I don't know, I probably need to like, like clip it to one side so the hair starts to lean to the other side, like like through the night. Because I did rinse it a little bit and then dried it and then put the hairspray on it and then straighten it. Uh, and it looks absolutely stupid. I don't know. Maybe it will look better with like makeup on. If I have makeup on, maybe it will look better. Well, yeah. I'll see. I'll see making that stupid gap again. Do I see the fringe? No. <laughs> Could I just use that fake fringe? Yes. Because <laughs> this looks silly. So yeah, let me know what you think. And I hope I see you in my next video. Bye.